The first observations of a space hurricane have been revealed in Earth's upper atmosphere, confirming their existence and shedding new light on the relationship between planets and space. Researchers are calling it a plasma space hurricane. Now, hurricanes in the Earth's low atmosphere are well known, but scientists have never before detected a hurricane in the upper atmosphere until now. An international team of scientists led by Shandong University in China analyzed observations made by satellites in 2014 to reveal a long-lasting hurricane resembling those in the lower atmosphere. In the polar ionosphere and the magnetosphere with surprisingly large energy and momentum despite otherwise extremely quiet geomagnetic conditions. Quite fascinating. The analysis allowed a 3D image to be created of the 1,000 kilometer wide swirling mass of plasma several hundred kilometers above the North Pole, raining electrons instead of water. Professor King Hizang, lead author of the research at Shandong University said, these features also indicate that the space hurricane leads to large and rapid deposition of energy and flux into the polar ionosphere during an otherwise extremely quiet geomagnetic condition, suggesting that current geomagnetic activity indicators do not properly represent the dramatic activity within these space hurricanes, which are located further poleward than geomagnetic index observatories. Wow. Professor Mike Lockwood, space scientist at the University of Reading said, until now, it was uncertain that space plasma hurricanes even existed. So to prove this with such a striking observation is absolutely incredible. Tropical storms are associated with huge amounts of energy. And these space hurricanes must be created by unusually large and rapid transfer of solar wind energy and charged particles into the Earth's upper atmosphere. Plasma and magnetic fields in the atmosphere of planets exist through the universe. So the findings suggest space hurricanes should be a widespread phenomena. Hurricanes often cause loss of life and property through high winds and flooding resulting from the coastal storm surge of oceans and the torrential rains. They are characterized by low pressure centers, or the hurricane eye, strong winds and flow shears, and spiral arrangements of towering clouds with heavy rains. In space, however, astronomers have spotted hurricanes on Mars, Saturn, and Jupiter, which are similar to the terrestrial hurricanes in the low atmosphere. There are also solar gases swirling in monstrous formations deep within the sun's atmosphere called solar tornadoes. However, hurricanes had not been reported in the upper atmosphere of the planets in our heliosphere. Till now. The space hurricane analyzed by the team in Earth's ionosphere was spinning in an anti-clockwise direction had multiple spiral arms, and lasted almost eight hours before gradually breaking down. Now, the team of scientists from China, the USA, Norway, and the UK used observations made by four Defense Meteorological Satellite Program satellites and a 3D magnetosphere modeling to produce an image. And it is here in this paper, Space Hurricane Observed for the First Time. Professor Zhang added, this study suggests that there are still existing local, intense geomagnetic disturbances and energy depositions which are comparable to that during a superstorm. This will update our understanding of the solar wind magnetosphere ionosphere coupling process under extremely quiet geomagnetic conditions. In addition, the space hurricane will lead to important space weather effects like increased satellite drag, disturbances in high-frequency radio communications, 
and increased error in over-the-horizon radar locations, as well as satellite navigation and communication systems. There are some additional notes, and we'll touch on those now. I don't know why there's that swirling there, so it's kind of annoying. I apologize. Let's try to blow this up and see if that does it. See if we can get a full screen version. Nope. So it just seems to be malfunctioning. So space hurricanes. Let's talk about the implications. And these additional notes. After detail and analysis of the observations and the simulation results, the team found that the magnetic reconnection will steadily occur at high latitude lobe regions for an extended period of time during a several hour period of stable, stable northward IMF and very low solar wind density and speed. So what we're gleaning is that these space torn plasma tor uh, hurricanes happen during geomagnetic quiet. And if the magnetosphere is waning, and this is an effect of that event, which happened in 2014, 10, 13, 14 here, right at this solar max during grand solar minimum drop down. What happens in 2026 during cycle 25? Do we see another one of these? Will it be larger? What will the effects be? It's anyone's guess. What we know is what we've shared with you. And that's that a space hurricane over the North Pole has been observed on our planet in 2014. Well, the implications, though they are endless. And the next one, based on the solar cycle, would happen around 2026. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance when you learn new things. Don't be scared, be prepared. That's a boom to knowledge. Share this with like-minded people and be safe. We love you. And click on one of the other boxes to gain more knowledge. Nanny, nanny.